Welcome to H Traffic. Here we comes in the pre-board question paper of Computer Science Practical Examination of 2023 and 24. The first question, as I gave some important question regarding HTML yesterday. So the first question is common from that five questions. Create an HTML document on the topic list and HTML tables. And the web page should contain two frames, where in one frame with HTML list and other HTML table. So we have to create frames. To do the question first, we will take out notepad. And here we are going to write the codes. I already have opened some notepads. So I will close all the notepad files. So here I am making for the first the frame file. So first we'll write doc type HTML. This is the first line of the page. After that HTML, then head. After head we will write title. Then in title we'll write HTML frames. Or you can give any name. No issue. After that, head will be close, then body start. After that, at here we'll write h1 tag, and here we'll write HTML list and table. After that, we'll close h1, then a br tag, then we'll write the code for the frame. So I frame space src equal Suppose the first frame is f1, so f1 dot html, then wide. I am giving the width as 40 percent. Bracket close, then I frame close. After it, we will copy the same line and paste it on next line. And here instead of f1, we'll write f2. After that body will be close then html close okay after it will save the file we'll give the file name as frame or we can give any name i'm giving here frame dot html now we'll have to make this f1 and f2 page also so first i'm making the list page here i'm writing h1 list h1 close then we are here list is used to group related items together. I am writing the definition after that I will give an example. We are then I am giving just one list on example ol then li one again li two again li three after that ol close this page i will save as f1 f1 dot html now i'll have to make one more page f2 for that i'm taking new file here we'll have to make table 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 helps to represent data systematically in a web page. So definition done. After that one example we can give. One simple table we will make table. border equal 1 then caption table name then caption close after the tr th suppose it is roll number th close again th name 
T is close, T R close. Again T D, let it be one, T D close. Again T D, name Rahul, T D close, T R close. After that, table close. This T R was not started, so T R start. And this space we will save as app to dot html so done now we will have to check the output for checking the output we will go to desktop as we save the file in desktop and here we will open the frame page so i have opened the frame page here you can see there are two pages one page table and one page list and i think i have missed somewhere closing data uh, here th opening is not provided So this one are codes completed. So this way you can solve the first question. This question is important for HSLC examination also. You can practice it so that you can easily do it in HSLC examination. I have given it in very simple way so that easily you can do it in your exam. Now we'll move to the next question MySQL one. Create a table of worker in a database organization name organization enter the given records in the table so table have one two three four five columns worker id this is number name this is just character salary this is number join it is date joining date it is date and department it is character worker so let's create the table first we'll open mysql I'm searching here MySQL command line. So first we'll have to enter the password. Let's write the password as one two three four. Now first we'll make the database. Create database organization. After that, after creating the database, use it. Use organization. After using the database, we'll have to make the table. So create table. Table name is worker. Then the column of the table. Let's see the column name once. We have five column. Worker ID, name, salary, joining date, department. So let's do it. Worker ID. This one will be INT and will give us primary key. Comma, then name. This will give us worker and size is 20. Salary will give us INT, comma, after that. I think join date. Let's see the question. Joining date, date and department worker. So joining date. Joining date will give the data type as date, comma, then department. Will give the data type as worker. And size is 10. After that, we'll close the bucket and semicolon. So table creation done. Now we'll have to end, enter the data. So first data is one Rajiv 40,000, 14 to 20 HR. So we'll write insert into worker values. The first value is one, then name is Raji, then salary is 40,000, then join date, let's give, it, give us any date, 2014, and what have, uh, two, 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 220, then HR, 2014, 220, and department is H R bracket close semicolon. This is to enter data in the table. So data entered 
and to enter the next one again we'll click on up arrow and we'll change the value the first value will be 2 id will be 2 and other values daisy 68,000 so daisy 68,000, 14, 6, and 11, and department is admin. If I'm going to write uh, Oh sorry, I think something is wrong. Let's see. Daisy is two comma daisy. Daisy should be within inverted comma because because it is in character and Rajiv should be removed from here. So entered. If I am going to enter five record, it will take time. So I entered only just two record and let's see questions. First question: Display worker ID and joining date from admin department. So we'll write select worker id comma joining date from worker where department equal admin so this is the query let's see so here we are getting now let's solve the next question Question B, display records in ascending order of salary. Let's do it. Select star from worker order by ASC, then the name of the column, salary. Something is wrong. Order by salary, then ASC. It should be order by salary column name then a s c for ascending so this way means Raji will be at top because his salary is minimum one and daisy have higher salary so at bottom so this way we can do the mysql question now let's go to the c programming question one to find the summation of the digits of a given integer means we'll take an integer and we'll sum the digit of the number this is directly given from book example it is in chapter 4 and page number page number is 133 from there you can easily do and number b to find the largest number among a series of numbers using array let's do the question number b this for that we will leave code block so I am closing the MySQL and now opening code block it will take little time to open because uh, my laptop is not that powerful now let's create a new file first file new then empty file or control shift and shortcut key so first we'll have to write the header file include we'll have to select the language also the language will be c and c plus plus so include std io dot h then int main after that curly braces here we'll declare a variable int arr size let's it be 10 size i'm giving myself and i for index and one more variable max done I am taking as maxi. I think max is a keyword. It's showing in green color. So maxi means maximum. Now 
we'll take the input for the array so for loop we are going to use for and inside the bracket i equal 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus and inside the loop we will write printf and here we'll write enter element percent is d and slash n and instead of in uh, in place of d we are going to display the value of i plus 1 now scan f function scan f and here we'll write percent is d and we are going to store it in inside m percent arr and in square bracket i now we will come out from the loop here we'll initialize the max variable as maxi variable as arr 0 means we assume that the first limit of the array is the largest one after it again we are going to use for loop for and i equal 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus and inside the loop we are going to write if statement if arr i greater than a max then we will replace the max variable to arr i so this way we will get the largest element and will come out from the for loop and here we will display the value of max so print it the largest element is percentage d and the variable is max semicolon now at last line return 0 I hope there is no mistake let's compile the program for that we'll have to save the file first I'm giving the name is max let's compile there is no mistake element 1 23 element 2 34 element 4 9 8 56 32 88 then 54 and the last 32 one more 12 so the largest element is 88 this way we can do this question and the first C programming I told only you can see page number 133 there you will get you can do that program for question number 3a so this way you can solve this question paper these questions are important for metric examination also you can practice the questions and especially question 1 and 3 I hope you have understood the question here is the question paper again from the beginning I will share the question paper in telegram group also from there you can download the paper thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye